multi-use shelters are by far better than single use. We don't have tornadoes every day, thank heaven. Um, so, you know, to get the best bang for the buck, you got to figure out what else can that be used for day in and day out. And, I, and it doesn't matter whether it's in a school, in a church, in a municipal building, in an office building, you know, the multi-use of it is far better than it sitting there waiting, empty, waiting for a tornado to come along. It's not to say that they can't be built because there have been some community shelters in small communities that set out in the middle of the community and that's all it's there for. But to really get the best bang for the buck, it is figure out what else you can use it for day to day. We, we went to great lengths to figure out in schools, you know, how can we create a classroom that is in fact a shelter. We started out believing that really the only good place was like a multi purpose room where they have lunch and they have PE and a place that you don't need windows and and you want strong walls because they're throwing balls against it and those type of things. And then we stepped back and said, you know, what if a school's just building classrooms and they're not going to build a multi-purpose space? You know, what do we do about those situations? So we stepped back and said, we got to figure this out because there's a lot of classrooms that, again, that are being built that they may not get this multi-purpose room or gym. So we stood back, uh, this was back in uh, about 2002, we had a school project here in Wichita that that's what we were given. We were adding six or seven classrooms to these two schools and it was, we challenged ourselves and we challenged FEMA and said, look, if we can figure out how to make a normal classroom a shelter, would you fund it? And they said, yeah, we will, but we don't think you can do it. And we, we talked to Texas Tech about it, and they said, we don't think you can do it. And in about an hour, literally, we figured out how to do it. And the big problem was we wanted, you know, in a normal classroom, we want to have windows so the kids can see out and you know, there's been test data about natural light and test scores and, and several things like that. So we really believe that normal classrooms should have natural light coming into them. So I stepped back and said, okay, I can go in and put, and at this time we had several doors that had been tested that, that met the FEMA criteria, and, but there was no windows, no window systems at the time. So we said, okay, let's look at the fundamentally, what are we talking about here? I can put several doors on the exterior wall of a, of, a, of a classroom that's a shelter, but I can't put a single window. So I said, what's the difference? You know, a door is an opening that has a solid panel in it that I open the door and I can walk through it. A window has glazing in it to let the light through it, but I typically can't walk through it. So basically what we did was we married the two. We said, let's put a window in and then let's put a door over it. I mean, that's literally what we did. I've got the protection of that and it became a, an interior shutter that we're seeing used all over the country now and we're really proud of that. But that's, that was really ended up being that simple. And FEMA, we showed it to FEMA and they said, yeah, you did it. Showed it to Texas Tech, and they said, by golly, you did it. You know, and again, we're really proud of that because, you know, there would be maybe tons of schools out there that just got the, got the classrooms and didn't, wouldn't get a shelter because of that. And a simple idea, a simple concept like that, and now that's being used, every, you know, all over the place. Since then, we have window systems now that are work that we don't need the shutter necessarily. So that's been, you know, over the past 10 or 12 years, the evolution of, of what's gone on. But we went back, going back to the multi-use versus the single-use, uh, we did a, just a quick study in-house about 
a shelter that we saw that was a single-use shelter. It's all it could be used for. And we did a, an analysis of use per hour over a 70-year period, assuming that that building would last for 70 years. How much per hour of use over that lifespan would that, would that shelter cost? Single-use versus multi-use. And the single-use shelter at that time, it come out to be like $3,900 per hour. And the multi-use come out to be like $3.60 an hour. But granted, you know, the, the single-use shelter may be used three times a year for 20 minutes a year for drills. Maybe once every five, eight, ten years would you use it for an actual or potentially a tornado warning that may be in the county. So you use it for an hour or two there. We took that into account versus using it, you know, maybe six to seven hours a day for 180 days a year, school year. And we said, okay, so we're off a little bit. It's not $3.60. Take a factor of 10, $30.60 an hour still versus $3,900 an hour. And that proved to us that that's the difference. You know, let's get the best bang for the buck. And that's where, that's, that's really drove us to coming up with how can you use classrooms. And, and uh, we're, again, we're really proud of, of coming up with that, uh, that concept and, and the fact that it's being used, still used today even. And we use it today.